A hard reset returns your HyperX keyboard to its factory settings, clearing all customizations and resolving various technical issues. You should consider resetting your keyboard when experiencing unresponsive keys, software detection issues, or conflicts with other peripheral programs. Before performing a reset, check your USB connection first. Use a USB 3.0 port when possible, as it provides better connectivity and power delivery. Software conflicts are common culprits. Programs like Razer Synapse or Logitech G-Hub can interfere with your HyperX keyboard's operation. Sometimes the issue is simpler than you think. The Windows key might be accidentally disabled by the WinLock feature. Try pressing Function plus Windows key or Function plus F12, depending on your keyboard model. If these troubleshooting steps don't resolve your keyboard issues, then it's time to perform a factory reset to restore your keyboard to its original working state. The factory reset process varies depending on your specific HyperX keyboard model. We'll cover the most common models and their unique reset procedures. For Alloy FPS and Alloy Elite keyboards, the reset combination uses Function plus Delete keys. For Alloy Origins and Origins Core models, you'll use Function plus Escape instead. For Alloy Origins and Origins Core keyboards, the process is similar, but uses Function plus Escape keys instead of Delete. The Alloy Elite 2 has a unique reset method. You need to close the Ingenuity software first, then press and hold three specific keys in the top left corner for five seconds. If your reset attempt doesn't work the first time, don't worry. Repeat the exact same process, making sure you're using the correct key combination for your specific model. If Genuity software isn't detecting your keyboard after reset, try connecting to a different USB port, preferably USB 3.0. Also, disable other peripheral software that might conflict, restart your PC, and reinstall Ingenuity from the HyperX website.